I got called um, by uh, by the Phil in uh, last. I think it was last February. They asked me to um, to submit some materials to see uh, if if I had anything that they could play. So I submitted a bunch of things that I thought fit, and some things that I thought fit certain players. Um, and um, and then they called me back and said, "Hey, we want to commission you," and that was really exciting. Contact is great. I, I uh, I've been to many of the concerts. One of the most profound musical concert going experience of my life. It was the um, the Grise uh, Catrachon, the four songs that he wrote at the uh, end of his life. That was an amazing performance. I saw that at the Met Museum, so fantastic. The, the name of the piece is Binary Momentary Two Flow State Joy State. So the two is important because it's the second piece in a series of pieces that are kind of trying to um, to approach composition in a way I, that I approach improvisation. So I'm an improviser, I improvise on electronics, I play the laptop, and um, I found that in the process of improvisation and getting, getting really comfortable with my instrument, I feel like I can enter a kind of brain state uh, that is very focused uh, very uh, in the now. Uh, it's, it's almost a spiritual place. Every instrument kind of has a solo and the trombones because there's two of them and they're, they're actually not even they're in stereo so I, I often think in stereo I'm a sound engineer and electronic musician so the trombones are kind of in stereo the trumpets in the middle um, and then the piano and percussion are kind of flanked here um, and so the trumpet uh, and the piano and the percussion all have these big solos. So that's one of the ways in that I'm dealing with the instruments is trying to give them their individual voice, their like expressive, being able to express themselves uh, as individuals. Um, and then there are parts in the piece where everything kind of comes together and everyone's doing the same thing. I've known uh, Eric Hubner for over a decade, so, um, and he's one of my favorite new music pianists, uh, pianists in general, and he can really play new music. So I knew that he would have no problem with anything I wrote him. So I, I was really thinking about him with the piano.